We're videoing here some bees. <laughs> 25th of April 2010, yeah. and it's a swarm on the allotment. And that's them going in to having been caught. Marvellous the way they formed that bridge there. Mm. You can just see the bridge in that. I'm going to get stung doing this, aren't I? It should be okay, Rob. They don't tend to sting when they swarm because they're. Let's get closer. This is taking me life in my hands for this is. film, Mr. Beekeeping Course Man. <laughs> Beyond the call that of duty, that's really is. great. And they're going down into what do you call that, Richard? A skep. That's called a skep. Into a skep. Mm. So the Queen's down there, so they're going to join the Queen. We've got the Queen down in the skep. This is amazing. 24th of April, 2010. Sorry, Zone Road Allotments, Lancaster, for YouTube. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, we can put that on YouTube. Marvellous. The Queen's been put down there in that skep. From up here. Smell, they smell, they, once they get the smell, they get the pheromone. And once yeah. she's in there, then they follow. If we didn't get her down in the skep, if she, then she'd have gone back up onto the branch. And they'd have all gone back up onto the branch. Right. With her in the middle. So you can tell that she's down there because they're all following her down now, so we can wrap it up and take them up and put them into a hive. See how they formed that bridge there, crawling over each other, down on the cloth, they must and they're going to that skep. Can't be bothered to fly. Well, they're, they're not bothering to sting me at the moment, so I'm happy about that. They're all engorged with honey, so they, they're, they're quite contented, though they shouldn't sting you. This is brilliant. We'll know if you get stung, because the yeah. camera will jump. You'll know if you get stung because I'll suddenly scream, yeah. <laughs> In about an hour, they'll have all settled down and, and um, we can close it up and take them away. If you haven't got the Queen, as I say, they'll, 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 they'll all come back out again, but there's no doubt we've got the Queen, because you can see how they're all, uh, they're all heading in. They're all making a beeline for the, the skep. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way I tell them. That's a cracker, isn't it? A beeline, sort of. <laughs> That's a beeline. Up there's a beeline. There's only two bees in it, look, yeah. at the moment. It's going to break, is it? Well, that's it's amazing. Have you got a good shot of that? Yeah. They're actually formed with a, like a chain so the others can walk down. That is pretty amazing. It's broken at the moment, but I think they'll reform. Look, it's going to reform here. Yeah. Keep your eye on it. Don't go and make a cup of tea because it's happening. <laughs> See, it's getting longer. It's amazing. Yeah, they're forming it again. Mm -hmm. We're going to form and connect with that cloth and form a bridge just as my battery runs out. <laughs> That's an early swarm. They usually swarm May, June time is the, is the most June time of swarm. It's quite early this year, especially when we've had a late spring as well. Quite amazing. This is one for the annals of the bee history, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it this? Yeah. You see all those there, they're all pointing down into the skep. Pointing the direction, maybe. I hope that was your hand. It was, <laughs> but it was a bee, but it wasn't going to stick. Well, it's fabulous. I'm running out of power here, so I'm going to back off. That's great. Thanks. This has been the Lancaster Bees for the BBC. <laughs> <laughs>